In this class, we are going to learn how to develop mobile applications with the help of Oracle Visual Builder. For this use case, I am going to modify our learning VBCS application where we had left in our previous mini project class. Let me open this in edit mode. In this application, we already have the web application created. In order to create mobile applications, we need to click on this icon. As we don't have any applications created, we need to create a fresh application by clicking on this plus mobile application. I will click on this plus mobile application. I will name this as first mobile app. From here, we have to select the layout. If we can go for none, horizontal or vertical, I am going for vertical. It's asking for the hamburger menu options. I will name this as employee. Here I will name this as department and others so that we can modify something on this others layout. It is saying spaces and special characters are not allowed. Let me remove the space from here. Then click on next. From here it is asking to select the layout for each and every item in the navigation list. For department I am selecting the list view. If you want you can select for department and others as well. I am clicking this as default and clicking on create. Like we have seen in web application here also we are having event listener actions, event types, variables, javascript, json and setting. It is pretty much same only the layout will be different as this supports only the small screen devices like the mobiles or the small screen tablets. Let me minimize this layout on the left side by clicking on mobile applications so that we get the bigger window to work on. Once the application layout has loaded in the design view, let me maximize the screen size by clicking on this arrow and increasing by clicking on this plus button. At least 60% is needed in order to view on the laptop 14 inch laptop screen. Once done, let me add the data for this list view. Just select this list view. Also, we can make use of structure like how we have done in the case of web application. Similar like that, we can make use of list view and go to quick start. Also, we can go for data if we already have the SDP or ADP. Let me go for quick start for this use case. Click on add data. In the employees layout, we are going to display the employee details in the list view. Also, we can display leave application details as well. But let me consider employee data listing. Click on this and click on next. I am selecting this layout. Click on next. So the leading slot should have our name. So I will put the first name and the last name. Both I want in the leading slot. In the overline slot, I will put the phone number. Default slot I won't put but in the secondary slot I want the email id. So I will just drag this and drop it over here. If you want to have any other details we can add it in row data so that it won't display over here. If you want to display any other details in the metadata slot or the action slot we can add. I am skipping those details and clicking on next. Click on finish. So our details will look something like this. We are getting the full name as we have put the first and the last name. Now also we can add few more actions over here like the edit page, add detail page, create page. Click of this row in the list view. It will open the details page on the left swipe. It will enable the edit page. We will add the edit page like whenever the user swipes left, it will enable this or activate this edit page. I am clicking on this edit page. Selecting the employee. Click on next. Here what and all details employee can modify. I am allowing a user or the employee to modify his phone number and email id. That's it. Click on finish. So it is going to auto create page title and the button. If you want we can modify that as well from that screen. Now let me switch over to the live mode and demonstrate. Now as the user clicks on this row nothing happens because we didn't add other actions like the details page but the user whenever swipes left we have to drag with the help of mouse if you are testing with the laptop if you are testing with mobile which we are going to do shortly we can just swipe towards left like this and it will open edit employee page so it has opened the edit employee page 
here we had selected the employee let me check what was the employee it was the Stephen King go to employee Stephen King's email ID and phone number are visible just let me update this to sking at the rate example.com when we click on save it will route us back to the employee start page so when we test actually with the help of mobile or any handheld device you won't see the flip between the pages as we are testing from the visual builder desktop browser based id it is flipping between the pages because each and every layout is designed in their own respective page so as you can see it is updated here let us verify whether it has updated in the business object go to employees go to data yeah it has updated in email as well so like this we can create a simple application which can display the employee details in a list view also we have added the action like that we can add more actions now suppose when a person clicks on this navigation drawer click on department and do other stuff we will enhance this application as we move ahead in this course we thank all our subscribers and viewers for showing interest in watching our videos which we post over youtube regularly here is the appeal from our side if you have liked any of our content please support us by buying us a coffee i will provide the link to buy us a coffee in the description of this video when you click on the buy me coffee link it will take you to this screen wherein you can opt for the coffees like one coffee is equivalent to one dollar you can select one three five and you can customize the coffees what you want to offer to us also we do have a membership program click on this membership tab over here and you can opt for the membership and you can watch out the benefits what you get for each membership for more details you can anytime come over here and watch out the details also you can have a look at our courses on udemy we are having two courses on udemy one is learn integration in oracle integration from scratch also we do have a course on oracle visual builder that is to learn from scratch once again we would like to thank you if you have not subscribed our channel previously please do subscribe our channel and please support us